Hi! Today's episode will be dealing with the seismic wave. There are scientists try to study the interior of the Earth. But until today, there are no actual explorations to the deepest part of the Earth. Seismic waves from earthquakes are used to analyze the composition and internal structure of the Earth. Let us define seismic wave. Seismic wave is a vibration generated by an earthquake. Seismic waves are recorded in seismographs. There are two main types of seismic waves, the body wave and surface wave. Do you know that surface waves can only travel through the surface of the Earth? They arrive after the P wave and S waves. There are two types of surface waves, the Lab wave and Rayleigh wave. Let us give the difference between the two types of surface wave. Lab wave is faster than Rayleigh wave. It is named after Augustus Edward Howe, Love. He is a British mathematician. A lab wave is a surface wave, having a side-to-side -side horizontal motion. During an earthquake, lab waves cause the most damage to structures. The other type of surface wave is the Rayleigh wave. It rolls along the ground like wave rolls across a lake or an ocean. It moves the ground up and down. By the way, Rayleigh Wave was named after John William Strutt, Lord Rayleigh, a British scientist. Let's proceed to the body wave. Body wave can travel through the inner layers of the Earth. Body waves are used by scientists to study the interior of the Earth. Just like the surface waves with two types, body waves have two types too the P waves, and the S waves. Let us give the difference between the two. P wave travels quickly through the earth and liquids. It travels faster than the S wave. The reason why it is called primary is because it reaches a detector first after an earthquake. P wave can travel in solids, liquids, and even in gases. How is the movement of the P wave? P wave shakes the ground back and forth. P waves, also known as compressional waves. The other type of body wave is the S wave, otherwise known as shear wave. S wave travels slower than P wave through earth and solids. How is the movement of S wave? Well, it moves as shear or transverse wave. It cannot travel through liquids. Because of this, Seismologists conclude that the outer core is liquid. We already learned the seismic waves. Now, try to answer the following. What are seismic waves? What are the two types of seismic waves? Give the difference between the two types of seismic waves. That's it! Thank you for watching! Please subscribe, like, and share. See you again in the next video.